Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to do a Halloween makeup tutorial. And I am recording this in her washroom because of the lightning. It's perfect light today. So, yes, without any further ado, let's get started. First of all, we are going to prime our face with Fit Me Primer. A little bit all around the face. Okay, then with Real Techniques brush number 204, we are gonna blend it on our face. Guys, excuse my voice today, I am not really well. I am suffering from COVID and that's why my voice is a bit heavy, so bear with me. We won't forget the neck. Okay, so this is a basic and like simple easy tutorial we just need to do heavy eyes heavy lips to give it a touch of halloween look and then we'll just add some decorations to make it a witch look this is the simplest and the easiest and the most trendy look right now so you don't need to worry about anything so now else applying the foundation this is fit me foundation matte plus poreless normal to oily skin and shade is 235 pure beach and i'm gonna take some of the foundation on my hand and with the foundation brush real techniques 205 i'm gonna apply it all over my face Just look how this shade matches to my skin perfectly and that's how you choose your foundation shade make sure it matches your skin and your undertone otherwise it's gonna get black all over but in Halloween makeup we don't care about undertones to be very honest because you are supposed to look scary and we are gonna use some more foundation because we need to make sure each and every decoration looks not decoration like each and every element that you draw on your face to make it a Halloween look should appear perfectly on your face okay and now I'm gonna take the Sephora's brush the round one the soft and the round one and I'm gonna blend it all over my face make sure to use the CTM process before in order to have a smooth smoothing and a soft blending session on your face it is, it gonna is really going to help you out for the blending session so it's really good don't forget your neck okay if you want you can just wet your foundation brush a little bit to ease the blending as well that will be a good step and just in case if that doesn't work what you can do is this step is also very easy and crucial if you skip any of the damping sessions as well just take some of the primer on your hand just wet the brush with the primer so that okay now before setting the foundation we are gonna apply the concealer moving ahead with the concealer this is Maybelline New York shade number 15 fair and a little more this time more than usual simply gonna take the brush okay I'm just gonna take this one and I'm gonna blend it and 
perfect so halloween makeup is the only makeup where mess is allowed so just in case if you create any mess it is gonna look good because in halloween make makeup you just have to look as as scary as you can or you just have to follow the theme as you are doing so yeah that's a good one so all the new makeup artists if you want to practice your makeup halloween makeup is the best thing you can make mistakes and you can learn but yeah not on a professional level when you when you are working as a professional makeup artist at a salon or something you need to make sure that you are perfect in whatever you do now i'm gonna take my elf dwell pop and shadow palette and i'm gonna simply brush off some brown on my cut crease just to make my crease look more visible it's this shade Okay, that's it and now quickly wiping off the brush we are gonna take some black not some black a lot of black because this is the extra makeup look and we want it perfect make sure you always apply your eyeshadow inwards not outwards And now blending at the same point to give that depth. Bring it till inner corner. to be a little bit careful because sometimes the dominant hand doesn't work on the other hand like on the other eye so we need to be a lot more careful Now we'll take more black and we'll define the crease because darker the crease darker the effect. See this is the difference if you do like one light and one dark it's gonna make this difference and that's the main reason why your smoky eyes doesn't work because your base is not that strong and pigmented enough. So you need to make sure that you pigment your eyelid properly. Yep, that's good. And now we are simply gonna take the Morphe 90 Territory Palette and we'll use the glitter 
this one we'll use the finger because glitters are very good when you apply it with your fingers just in the middle and on the side perfect that's what, that's what we want from the same um, gel pop palette from E L I mean L E L F and we are gonna do the lower lash line lower lash line yeah lower lash line just a little bit because we are gonna do the red next so we just need a little bit and don't mind if I <laughs> I look a little bit scary right now that's perfectly okay same on the another eye make sure you don't poke your eyes while doing this because ow, because this is a scary step if you put some eyeshadow in your eyes you might not know how and what chemicals are used in here and this might also happen but that's okay you might get an eye infection so okay now what are we gonna do we are going to settle the foundation and the concealer on our face we are going to take the powder and this is from wet and wild bare focus in shade fair we are gonna brush it away and it might happen like this but it's okay we are gonna brush it away because we are discarding all the eye shadow fallouts here. Similar. Perfect. Now we are gonna take a dark brown color. This brown is fine. Just a little bit here. Here. And your forehead to shape it a little bit. It's okay if you can continue the You're gonna need that. Perfect. You know? that edgy face you can see that line here right you can see the difference on my face that that's looking we are gonna connect the three we are gonna make the three over here And why I have used a darker brown than usual because we want that edgy look and edgier the look beautiful the witch we can say it like that but that's totally up to you and see if you are taking some idea like it's okay to take ideas but it's not okay to just simply copy the makeup so make sure you don't resonate anyone else's makeup as much as like hundred percent you need to make sure that you apply your changes you apply your creativity because creativity is only seen when you try to do something new by yourself now it's time for nose and we are gonna take the fluffy brush it's okay if it's a little bit more we are gonna be totally okay it's the same brown we don't need to use another one that's totally okay And 
now simply give the shape from outer side inner side hmm. that's good because halloween makeup is something extra and i'm gonna use the rimmel london red one where is the shade zero one five zero zero two and i'm gonna overline my lips not overline i don't understand overlining just simply lining your lips Now what are we going to do to give that Halloween sass? I'm going to use a little bit black. At this point, I just want to give you one suggestion that don't keep reusing one eyeshadow brush for rest of your eyeshadows because we might need black a lot so try to keep one eyeshadow at a time eyeshadow brush at a time at this point if you have um black eyeshadow the i mean black lipstick then it's good as well i'm gonna use the mac liquid lipstick in shade dance with me that's perfect 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 now is the time for the main decorations and as you can see that i have oh i have not done my eyebrows we need to do that okay so this is the angled brush and we are going to do the eyebrows because i forgot that completely we are going to take a little bit of black and a mix of brown and gonna do my eyebrows Sharper your eyebrows, nicer the makeup look. So try to do like as bright as you can for this one. Because if you have seen some witches in movies, you might have known that yeah, they have like sharp eyebrows, dark makeup, dark face makeup as well as dark clothes and all that so we are just simply trying to look like that that's that's all the motto of this makeup is that's good so um we are gonna take the black if i was that like if you know about some witches they have some specific symbols and um specific uh, what we can say if you, you can even search it on google what what you can do here is and then we are just simply gonna do we are simply gonna imprint it on our face and this is very carefully This is a very careful thing that you need to do like you need to be more careful while you're doing this and it's better if you have that pencil you know at this point okay now this is good and i'm just gonna take that pencil Giving the edges, making it equal from both the side. Okay, huh. a little 
bit more so with eyeliner i just try to do this just anything like any impressions you can see they do cross they do triangle they do moons little dots and knitting that and knitting would work now you're gonna do so at this point you might need a lot a lot of liquid eyeliner and i would suggest on basis of my experience that liquid eyeliner works the best it gives you that pigment it gives you that effect just anything just you need to just make it look like you are wet and just add some symbols here here whatnot and you can just simply use them again like just to Now what we are gonna do we are just gonna add some more impressions now I'm gonna use some dots and lines simple simple lines dots that's that's totally fine I'm gonna make some stars over here anything like literally anything would work to make it look good brighter and nicer to make it look different just that shiny and the thing see makeup is just your creation and you can look the best with this so not an issue For the final touch, we are going to take some eyeliner on the Perfect. We are going to blend in with the Okay, and for that a quick touch um, okay and now we are just taking some eyeshadow the same that we applied it on our eyes and using it on my lips you can do this as the last step before decorating yourself not your makeup just to ensure that quick perfect okay so we are done with the Halloween makeup look and now we are just gonna decorate it. So I just used some oxidized jewelry and <coughs> I'm sorry and a little bit of loose curls. I'll just show it to you. 
so if you guys don't know this is the navratri jewelry if you are using like if you want to use it because you just use it like once or twice a year and if you want to use this you can perfectly use this in your halloween look these are perfectly messy curls just 10 minutes simple easy curls that you can do with a curler you don't need any any hole spray or something like that it's just okay if some opens up some some are just like not curled perfectly and if it, it's up to you like i can even do spiral curls with this but i thought that this is gonna look more nice so here is the final look Okay, so here is the close and the final look.